Hi everyone, I'm going to do this derivation in multi-place predicate, but it's uh, a pretty straightforward one and I'm just going to focus on using only the basic rules. So, to start, it's very straightforward. Let me just zoom out before I start. One, show double existential bracket gx and not hxy. So the trick here is to realize that this is a double existential, and to show this, I just need an instantiation. So I need some just show alpha. Sorry, I need some g alpha, and I need a not h. Uh, the alpha needs to match here, and this just needs to be some other variable beta. Uh, I doubt I need the assume ID, but I'm just going to put it in anyway. It never hurts, and sometimes it will save you on certain proofs where you actually didn't think you needed it, and you did. So assume ID there. Now I'm just going to sort of look at my premises, that's all I can really use, and just proceed with the automatic moves. Premise 1 is an existential waiting to happen, so I must do it, and I have to pick a letter that has not appeared anywhere in my proof. That's not an A, that is a premise 1 existential instantiation. Now I look over, this is universal followed by an existential, so I can match if I am able to. This is a double universal. And this is the L predicate and the not H predicate, or the H predicate. Now, I actually have no guidance here for matching, so I should not UI this to anything. I can always do it later. Over here, though, I do have guidance. This FX predicate can be changed to anything. And notice that I have F fixed to I over here. So I know that I should UI to I. FI, arrow, bracket, GY, and L, I, Y. OK. That's premise two, uh, UI. Now, I've ex uncovered an existential, which means that I should immediately EI. Never wait. GJ and LIJ. And that's four EI. But now I see that three and five, I can modus ponens, so I'm just going to do it. GJ and LIJ. That's three, five modus ponens. I could simplify this if I want to, but it's just sitting there. I know I can simplify it whenever I feel like it. Okay, so now that I have this, uh, I can actually look for guidance in my L predicate. Here it's x, y, here it's i, j, so I know that I need to ui the x to i and the y's to j's. And I might as well just do that in one move, I'll just ui both. So this becomes l, i, j to match, and then I have not h, j, i. And this is premise 3, UI, UI. Uh, of course, now these match together here. That was the point of matching in the first place. So I can run a modus ponens, and I get not H, J, I. And that's line 6, simplify, 7, modus ponens. On line 9, now I can take my GJ from here, add to this, and I get GJ uh, and not H, J, I. And that is 6, simplify, 8, adjoin. Now, of course, this is what I wanted over here. I wanted this form where these two matched, and that's what I have. And now I can existentially generalize outwards to my show line. Now, the trick here is I just have to do one at a time. It's not that big of a deal. First, I go like so, gj, oops, j, and not h, j, y. Uh, and that is line 9, existentially generalized. And I just do it again, where I change all my j's to x. And that is line 10, existentially generalized. And that is a direct derivation. Cross, box, done. Okay, so this derivation is really easy. It just sort of shows uh, some very basic multi-place matching. Uh, and yeah, there's nothing to it. Good luck.